What's going on guys? I am back with another video. Today we're going to be doing another shipping video. So I'd like to thank um, Diane. Um, Diane from Michigan and also John from uh, North Carolina. Um, John purchased two of these guys and um, Diane purchased one. I originally planned on keeping um, two of these guys. So um, on my post I said, I said I had three available. But I'm going to go ahead and release um, all of them. I have holdbacks from the previous year so i'm just grow those guys out and um it look like uh at least one of my female is building right now as far um when i say building i'm talking about look like she's gonna lay another clutch i actually put the uh, lay boxes in a in the cages about three days ago i think it was three days ago um so hopefully they give me eggs again um they haven't mixed missed a year yet so hopefully they continue that and give me eggs again and i have more babies but I'm not going to keep any anymore, um, so I have two left after this. Yeah, two. Um, Diane said she was interested in a dark one. Um, so it's two, two that's a little bit darker than the other ones. So Diane bought hers first, so I'm going to give her a darker colored one. And that one, that one's smaller, so I'm not going to even send that one at all. I like to send the bigger, bolder ones. The ones that is nice and plump. And like I said in the other videos, I always check the, the, the digits on the feet and the hands. And also the tail to make sure they not don't have any nips or any damages to them. And make sure that both of their eyes are clear. And I just gave these guys a soak, like I always do. I know some people think the ear mask is not supposed to be in water. I don't keep water inside the cage, but I do take them out occasionally and soak them. And they do like to drink. Uh, I put a little clip. I'm gonna put a little clip in right now of them actually drinking the water um, when I put them inside of it. Um, all animals will drink water. Um, can they live without water? Yes, they can. They get it from their, the plants and stuff like that. If they drink water, will it hurt them? No, it won't. Um, I've been doing this for about five years now, soaking them. Once they um, are getting ready to be shipped, and also do it um, just to give them some moisture as well to keep them um, nice and healthy. But yeah, let me um, I'm gonna put that clip in. Let you guys watch that. It's probably gonna be playing right now while I'm still talking. But like again, I like to thank Diane. Diane, she's from Michigan, and also uh, John from North Carolina. I'm gonna go ahead and get Diane one of the darker ones. Um, like I said, she purchased her first, and then I'm gonna pick out two for um, John. You know, they don't really, can't really see that much color difference in person. I think in the video, that one was still wet. I mean, in um, the picture that she, Diane seen, that the, the one that she seen was still wet. That's why it looked different. But right now, you can see they're all pretty much the same color. That one looks a little bit more colorful right there. Um... Maybe this one darker, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to, to Diane. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and check the digits. Excuse my hands, I just got off work. But make sure all the digits are there. My eyes are clear. Alright, this one's gonna be packed up for Diane. I already got the boxes ready. I labeled them so I won't be confused. Um, I have Diane and I put um, the one in parentheses. And you guys know I always got to label the box with inside of it. Uh, so she has a Euromastic. This type of Euromastic is an oscillator Euromastic. And she has one. Then John, he has two. Um, also, oscillator Euromastics. And he has two of them. And I have the containers ready for them already. The box is already prepped. 
Um, I have a heat pad for Diane because she's in Michigan. The high on Thursday is going to be 57, so it's going to be a little cooler. They probably could be okay with 57, but I'm going to put a heat pad just in case. But John, he's he lives in uh, North Carolina. It's a little bit hot out there. The high is going to be 89, so I'm not going to put a heat pad in that box. Um, but hold on a second. Let me get Diane's put away. It's shedding a little bit right there. Camera focus. A nice orange in there. There we go. Nice pump belly. Diane was actually about the temperament right now. So you can see it's chilling on my hand. Um, they never try to bite, but sometimes they whack their tail. Or um, they wiggle their body if they feel a little distressed. But right now, it's just chilling. It's actually cool right now because I just uh, um, gave it a bath, so that might be a little bit of a reason. But when I opened the cage, I should have recorded that. And I um, I usually get them out with green, so I have to chase them and move the rocks through the cage. So I just bring bring um, greens to the front of the cage, and they um, come out looking for the green. So and I just have them jump inside this container. But yeah, put the um, Diane's up. And put it right here real fast so I can re, re grab it. And it's going to go into that container. The container is vented so it's not airtight. And you guys know I put the tape around the edges and I mark it so when I put it on containers my hard to find where the tape begins and ends so we get this lid on here so guys I have I'll have two left after this if you guys are interested um like I said, hopefully the females give me more eggs this year, and um, if not, I still have my whole back from um, 2023, no, 2022. So I'm going to put the tape around the edges, and this is so if the container is, if the box is bent a little bit in the container, um, it is squeezed that the animal is not loose inside the box or if the box is broken the, um, they don't get out of the box so I'm going to do this for the rest of them as well I'm going to have to remark them I'm wiping the, the marker off on accident These guys get about 12 inches of adults. I keep my uh, adult pairs in um, six foot enclosures. If you guys look at my old videos or older videos or search my videos, you guys can um, see. I show, I show the whole process of them breeding, the female and eggs, eggs hatching. Um, I show it all, so you just have to go look back. Take some time to look back if you guys are interested. And, um, I showed a lot, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna try to um, get back to doing some regular content. Um, it is hard. I'm working a lot still. I went from two jobs to one, but I picked up more hours at the other one. So, so that's going to Diane, and I have to still install the heat pack to the lid, the top. Like I said, I make a uh, put paper towel to line the box even more and make it like a nest so the container fits inside the paper towel snug. 
and if the box is the box is jostled around, jostled around, um, the animal doesn't move move around too much. Inside the container, there's uh, some cut up paper towel. So now I'm gonna put more paper towel on top of there to to lock the the container into place. Then the heat pack goes on the lid. Get nice and warm. Just keep it up a little more. Now I have to take this to the top. Actually, I'm just going to set it in here. Right on top. Put them right down low on tape. Same, same concept. So now it's nice and slug, snug inside of there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this box off. Give me a second. Let me um, set up a, a um, stand so I can put the camera on there. Okay, so I turned the flash off as well. I have the flash on. Box one and Diane. Uh, nice and there. Nice and slow. Heat back. I like to make the um, ends of the tape end in the middle on the top because that's where the, the label is going to go and further seal the, the package. So the only way to get through this box is to cut it, cut it open. The tape can't come loose. I left the um, shipping labels inside the car, but I put them inside of this weatherproof strip. And I basically put it on top of the, the box like that. The opposite way of the tape. And that way the top is completely sealed. I put a complete tape around the around the uh, middle of the box. So this part is completely sealed. And the only way to open it again is to cut it open. So I'm going to put the tag on when I get in the car. That's why the box are labeled with the name. Now I'm going to get to John's and I think this one is a very nice looking one. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that one up and like I said I'm not going to ship the smaller one and let that one get a little bit more size but if somebody's wanting that I'll go ahead and ship it. Usually when they're when it's size different like this these ones will chase those ones around. But once um, they're alone, they start to pick up size fast. But these two are very similar in size. So I'm going to ship these two to John. Let me get 
see them slowly. Same process, guys. This one's a little bit more active. There it is. We'll go a little bit faster on these. This is the other one. I like this one a lot. It was shedding a little bit. The television shed. This one in here as well. And this one I'm not going to have as much paper towel inside of the box because um, these containers are going to sit on top of one another. And it's going to uh, automatically make it harder for the boxes to be shifted around. But I will put a little bit in there. To make the difference in the, um, the void in the box. So my bear dragon people, if you guys are watching this, I'm gonna do a video on G stripes and some stuff that's been going on in the community, um, as far as thunderbolts being supers and stuff like that. Um, I'm in communication with a couple people about how the gene works and. Stuff like that, if it's an actual gene or a mind bread trait. Me, myself, I believe it's a, it's a gene. And I'm going to tell you guys the reason why I believe that. And support it with some facts that I've been coming up with over the years since I first bred. Um, stripes and some facts that I've been told on why it may or may not be super so you guys can get tuned in for that so John I got yours all loaded up I'll show you here like I said you're not getting heat back to yours because your temperature is going to be um, 89 at the high, and I don't want to get too hot in the box. It's almost better for them to be cold and instead of hot, because you can overcook stuff. I mean, you can you can overheat them faster than you can freeze them. But I am gonna make sure they can't move around inside of the box. Or at least the containers can't move around. Like I said, guys, I have two left. If you guys are interested, that's the smaller one. It's not skinny or anything like that. It's just smaller than the other ones. These are 2023 captive bread. Let me go get one of my 2022 holdbacks to show you from the same pair um, how it looks. All right, guys, this is my hold back from 2022. Same, same exact pairing. I'm pretty sure it's a male. But you can see his colors. Let me uh, try to give it a backdrop so the camera can focus a little bit. Same exact pairing, 
just a year or year difference. Camera's not receiving, really picking up all this color. That's my whole back from 2022. One of them, I have three from that clutch. And two from a different clutch. But it turned out very nice. So, like I said, if you guys are interested, see your difference. The camera's around the way. But that's a year difference in. You guys interested let me know um again I'd like to thank diane and john to make for making a purchase with me um you guys will see this video and then um diane you'll be picking yours up from the fedex hub for your location for your own area and john yours will be coming to your door again thank you guys um appreciate you guys and my bit of dragon people if you made it this far in the video stay tuned because i will be Getting back to some bearded dragon stuff. I have three bearded dragons left. You guys know. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. To the next video, I'm out. Peace.